Hello everybody, in this tutorial we are going to create a vertex buffer template. Currently if we go to our graphics CPP and we go to where we are initializing our scene, we are setting up uh, you know, these vertex buffer descriptions and the sub resource data and all of this before we can actually go to create the buffer. We're going to make a template to just make this managing a little bit easier especially since in the future we could have multiple types of vertices just so if we had a template where we could pass in the vertex struct then it would just make it a little bit cleaner. First let's go up to our graphics folder and add a new header. We are going to call this header vertex buffer. Now let's go up to show all files and let's move this up to our graphics folder. Now we can uncheck show all files. Alright, so the way that we're going to set this up is we're just going to have our, our template, our classes vertex buffer. Uh, for our private variables, we're going to store the buffer size, so the total number of vertices. We're going to store the stride, and we're going to store the buffer. And this way when we go to draw, we can just call these and get them back. We're going to have our default constructor, which does nothing. We're going to have get, which just returns a pointer to the buffer, and then get address of. We're going to have buffer size, stride, stride pointer. Now the reason we have the stride pointer is because if we are just uh, setting our buffers and we only have one vertex buffer then we're expected to pass a pointer of strides so because of that we are going to have the option to just get back a pointer to our stride. Next we have our initialize where we set the buffer size we calculate the stride based off of the type we have our vertex buffer description which is, which is exactly how we were doing it before except now we are uh, passing in the size of our custom uh, type and then we are also multiplying by the number of vertices. With this new layout we'll be able to support vectors of vertices instead of just having static arrays. And down here it's the same idea. Um, we pass in a pointer to the data so for our PSYSMEM we're just setting that to the data and then we go to create the buffer and we return that value. So now let's go ahead and implement this. Let's go to the graphics header Okay, so we want to include vertex buffer. Now let's go down to where our vertex buffer was before. We're going to create a vertex buffer, and for the type, we just pass in our vertex type. I'm going to call that vertex buffer. And take out what we had. So let's go to the graphics CPP initialize scene where we are initializing these vertices. And what we are going to do is right down here, we can just take out all of this for initializing the vertex uh, buffer description. Instead, what we can do is instead of calling device create buffer, we can just call vertex buffer dot initialize. We will pass in the pointer to the device, the vertex data, which was just V, and the num uh, vertices, we can just pass in array size V. Next, let's go up to where we are drawing this. And instead, instead of, let's take our stride out right here. Instead of, you know, doing the stride manually there, we're just going to do vertex buffer dot stride pointer. Okay, let's test this out. See what we get. Failed to compile. Let's see. Oh, need to fix that. Okay, let's test this again and see what we get. Okay. So we got exactly what we had before, but now we are using this vertex buffer template to try to clean it up a little bit. In the next tutorial, we are going to create a index buffer class, and that will just store all of our indexes. Then after that, we will get into constant buffers. 